friends in the syllabus for class 10 there is a unit 13 which consists of the surface areas of certain geometrical figures and uh, not only that it includes a combination of geometrical figures also now the type of questions that can be asked in uh, the board exam are of a very variety of kinds but uh, to take an example let us assume that we have a cylindrical part of a tent and a top portion which is consisting of a conical part so the a tent having a cylindrical part and a conical part let us draw this first of all so supposing we have a cylindrical part and we have a conical part now we have to define first of all what is the diameter of the circle at the top and the bottom let us assume this diameter is 2.0 meters while the height of this cylinder is 4.0 meters and this is the diameter now addition in addition to this we are preparing a tent where there is a conical part to this tent on the top so we draw a conical part like this and this conical part is about 1 meter 1 meter at height that means the distance from the set top of the uh, cylinder to the uh, edge of the cone over there is about 1 meters now if we have such a tent what we need to find out is what is the total area of this tent and then if we know the area and if we know how much canvas will be required for this uh, particular uh, area we can figure out what will be the cost of the canvas so this is what we want to uh, figure out from this particular problem now to approach this problem we first need to know the curved surface area of the cylinder now the curved surface area of the cylinder can be obtained by simply considering a circumference of the circle at the top which is basically 2 pi r into the height which is h now what is actually happening is that if supposing you have this circle and you keep on cutting uh, uh, you know circles out of this all the way to height h you will be able to get the curved surface and that is why it is 2 pi r into h now we can put in the figures that means this is equal to 2 pi now r over here is 1.0 meters so this is 2 pi into 1.0 into height which is 4.0 so this is our curved surface area area for the cylindrical part of the tent cylindrical part of the tent now as a, as a second part we would like to know what is the area of the conical top of the tent now the conical top of the tent we know that this distance from this point to this point is 1 meters and we also know that if you look at this conical part a b and o we know that this is actually the radius which is about also 1.0 meters so we can easily calculate the side ab because it's a right angled triangle so in the uh, uh, right angled triangle abo 
we can have L square is equal to 1.0 square plus 1.0 square and therefore L square is equal to two, uh, 1.0 square sorry so it will be 2 uh, into 1.0 so this is 2 and therefore L is root 2 which approximates to 1.414 now this L is called the slant height of the cone and why it is important because the curved surface area of the cone is nothing but the slant height into pi r. So basically the curved surface area of the cone is equal to pi into radius into the slant height L which is pi R L that means the curved surface area that is this particular area which which will which continues to increase this whole area is nothing but some R par into L into pi so pi R L which is nothing but uh, if you put in the values, it will be pi into 1.0 and L is now root 2. So, this is equal to root 2 pi. Now, that means the total area that we are now having is the curved surface area of the uh, cylinder and the uh, curved surface area of the cone. So the total total area total area which we have to cover that we have to cover with the canvas will be the area of the cylindrical part plus the area of the curved uh, surface of the cone so which is this is equal to basically over here we can find out this will be uh, 4 into 2 so this is 8.0 pi so this is 8.0 plus uh, 1.41 into pi and this is equal to 9.41 into pi so this will be our total area which will be required for, to be covered uh, basically and uh, you can you can find out that this area will turn out to be some 29.57 meter square and if supposing the canvas costs 1000 rupees per square meter so if you multiply this by 1000 this will be 29570 rupees. So the canvas which will be required to form a tent having a cylindrical part with with the height of uh, 4 meters and a conical part on the top with a height of 1 meter uh, with a, and a diameter of uh, 2.0 will be 29570. Now in addition, sometimes a question will be asked that if supposing the breadth of the canvas is given, canvas, supposing this has been given and supposing this breadth is, let's assume about uh, a value of 1.6 meters then we can easily calculate since we know the area we can easily calculate the length of the canvas so the length of the canvas of canvas will be nothing but the area divided by the breadth and therefore this will be some 29.57 by the by 1.6 meters and uh, this this value 
may be close to about uh, 18 point something. But the formula is the same, you have the area, you have the breadth, you can calculate the length. If you have the length, you can calculate the breadth. So this is, this is one type of a problem which can be asked on the uh, calculation of surface of, of uh, uh, two geometrical objects, a cone which is combined with a cylinder. Now in addition to that, there can be another simple problem which we, which we, we should also take up. And this simple problem is that supposing you have that cylinder or the cylindrical, solid cylindrical object and supposing uh, it is asked that you remove a cone out of it. So which means that we need to have the following situation. Let's uh, redraw the whole exercise once again. We have a cylinder. And what is asked is that you remove a conical part of this solid cylinder. Now evidently we need again the height and the uh, diameter. Let us assume that this uh, height is uh, let us say 3.0 meters. And uh, as uh, earlier, let us say this is uh, 2.0 meters uh, is the diameter. So your radius is, is your radius. Now, again, we need to find out the curved surface area of the cylinder. And we have to find out the curved surface area of the uh, cone. Uh, as well as we also know what is the area of the circular part which is the top of the cylinder. So in, as a first part the curved surface area area of the cylinder the solid cylinder will be as we have said 2 pi r is our circumference into h we can put in the values, this will be 2 pi into r is 1.0 and h is 3.0. So this is 6 pi in meters square. Secondly, we can find out the curved surface area for the cone, for the conical part. And this will be, as we have said, pi into r into l, where l is the slant height, l is equal to slant height. And this l, as we know, if supposing this is our triangle A, B and O, then in this right angle triangle, this is l. So our l square is h square plus 1 square, which is the radius square. So l square is equal to our h square plus r squared. This is your r and this is your h. Putting the values, l squared is equal to uh, 9, that is 3 squared is 9 plus 1 squared is 1, so this is equal to 10 and therefore your l is equal to root of 10. Root of 10 can be approximated as uh, 3.15. meter square. Uh, sorry, meters because this is the slant height. Now once we know the slant height, we can calculate from this formula the curved surface area which will be pi into 1.0 into 3.15 which is equal to 3.15 pi. So this will be basically the curved surface area of the uh, cone that we have to take out from the uh, cylindrical solid. Now what remains is actually the following. You have this cylinder and basically what is remaining is this part because you have already removed the conical part. 
so you are left with this part only and this is the we we are uh, we are finding or let's say the, this is figure 1 let's call it figure 1 let's call this as figure 2 so we are actually asked to find out the total surface area of figure 2 that means whatever is left after the cone has been removed from the solid cylinder and this is nothing but the sum of the area of this top circular part plus the, the, the curved surface area of the uh, whole cylinder and the curved surface area of the cone that has been taken out. So that means we have to sum up in a third part the area of the circular part which is nothing but pi r square pi and r we know is 1.0 so it will be pi into 1.0 square which is pi plus we know that the area of the curved surface of the cylinder is 6 pi we know that the curved surface area of the conical part is 3.15 pi so we add up everything and we will get pi uh, and this will be you can take out pi common so 1 plus 6 7 plus 3 it will be 10.15 pi meter square so this is the total surface area of the remaining solid that is obtained after removal of the conical part. Let's stop here for a moment.